We got a glimpse of an all too familiar pain in the valley this weekend. After a disaster, it can sometimes be a struggle to return to what you would consider a sense of normalcy. But while their lives are changed, the families in Moore, Oklahoma are now trying to do just that. In the process, bringing one group of teenagers here to the Tennessee Valley. WHT News 19's Daniel Aparillon has the story. A mere two weeks after tornadoes ravaged their hometown of Moore, Oklahoma. It's been a really traumatic experience. This group of 16 year old girls, their coaches and families took to the field. Soccer is not just about building the sport. It's also about building team and what better way to build team than to handle a disaster or event like that. It feels relaxing to be here instead mm. of there. Get away from everything. Two weeks ago, the U.S. Youth Soccer Region 3 President's Cup Tournament in Decatur was the furthest thing from their minds. Just had no idea, you know, regionals is two weeks after the tornado and had no idea how we were going to manage that. Um, we've not as a team been able to practice at all because we've had tornado warnings and tornadoes even after the May 20th tornado and bad weather and it's rained. Stacy Haynes's home was destroyed. So was her youngest daughter's elementary school. But as they do when things get tough on the field, they pulled together and thrived off of the support from those around them. Just to see people that I don't know well and people I know really well to come and just people you don't know at all just walking down the street to come and help. Um, it's, it's just a wonderful experience. I didn't know we had it in us. On Saturday, the Cosmos played their last game of the tournament. And during a time when they are in need of a victory, <laughs> they won. Indicator, Daniela Perillon, WHNT News 19. They won that game 2-1. to one. It was their last match, but the tournament will continue through the weekend.